In the last video, we looked at creating the object dictionary for the module. Now we need to implement code on the host to use those entries and operate the robot arm. We provide a source code library for interacting with the CanOpenAI module. The communication is packet based, but that is abstracted by an API, so you do not need to deal with that level. At the most basic level, there are function calls to initialize the library and operate the state machine. The process function must be called from the main loop or in an RTOS task as frequently as possible. There are function calls for reading from and writing to the object dictionary of the module, and we will be using those extensively in this project. A callback function is provided to indicate a write has occurred to the module object dictionary from another node or manager. It doesn't matter if the write was caused by an SDO or PDO, the callback is the same. This makes it easy to react to new data, such as new target positions. If a PDO is received containing multiple pieces of data, then the callback function will be called for each object dictionary entry that changed. The API has additional functionality that we are not using in this example project. That includes reading and writing to the object dictionaries of other nodes, handling segmented SDO transfers, objecting to sleep requests, configuring timeouts and more. Now we will look at how to use the API to handle new target positions. After initializing the library, we specify a callback function for new data that has been written via SDOpedio. Let's look at that function. The callback function is passed the node ID from where the data came from, if available, the index and subindex of the entry that was written to, the length of the data, and a point to the data. All we do in this function is check the index and subindex to see which axis was involved, convert the written value from multiples of one tenth of a degree to degrees, and call a function to move that stepper motor. To reiterate, if a PDO is received with new target positions for axes X, Y, and Z, then this function will be called three times, once for each axis. Looking at the end of the callback function, we check the system object dictionary entry 5F00, which contains information about the state of the module itself. Here we can tell when the module changes between pre-operational, operational, and the other can open network management states. That is all that is needed to handle the processing of new target positions. Now we will look at reporting the current positions and status. Inside our application layer, we have a function that is repeatedly called to handle the motor operation. For each axis, we do the same thing. We look to see if the position information is valid and if the motor is at the current target position or not. We assemble a byte containing a bit field. Finally, we call the library API function to write to the module's object dictionary, updating the motor status. It is important to note that we don't need to worry about the status bytes being mapped into a PDO. At this level, all we care about is updating the data. The module will automatically handle transmission of the PDO based on the event time, inhibit time, etc. We also don't need to worry about the fact that a single PDO contains all six status bytes. We just write them individually and let the module worry about grouping them into a single PDO. This makes host implementation easier and demonstrates the flexibility and power of the module in offloading all of the complexity and nuances of CanOpen for us. The final piece of the puzzle is to report the current position of the motors. In our application layer, we have a function that is called when a motor position changes. This is past the axis and the new position. We convert the position in degrees into multiples of one tenth of a degree and write the value into the object dictionary of the module. Just like the status bytes, we don't have to worry about if the current position entries are mapped into PDOs or not, and if they are grouped together in a PDO or not. We just write the individual pieces of data and let the module worry about all of that. And that is all that is required for the host to be able to interact with the module, get new target positions, supply the current positions and status. In the final video, we will put everything together. We will demonstrate operating the robot arm over a Canopan network. Thank you for watching.